this. Um, I'm going to share my um, because I just put put the ideas on paper, and it's, I think it is better if you actually can see the information, um, so that you know you hear it and you see it. So I'm just going to share my screen and run through um, just a couple of pointers for you. Presentation, thank you. And so, thank you for Machta that's had the idea of millionaire in training. Years ago, we had a button millionaire in training. So, I think maybe somewhere we can do a little bit of a branding with this as well. Um, and uh, so, it is a very, a very um, good name for us all to aspire to be training to be millionaires. Um, and yeah, so I, I put this um, image just into. Uh, get everybody focused. Obviously, this is our way of, of add-on for our retail and that everybody focuses on it. Um, I'm really super excited um, to have quite a big group already um, in the challenge. And what I also did is my new members that has got people in the challenge are adding their customers to my group just so that I can help them with that initial follow-up, etc. Because sometimes it is just you, you instruct your customers, like one of my clients were complaining the whole time she's hungry, until I chased up. So just a pointer, um, especially for new clients, that you don't just rely on the images and the Facebook, but that you're still following up with that person on a one-on-one, -on -one, either WhatsApp or calling them, um, because she was using one. I couldn't understand why she was hungry. So you have to chase up to find out what is the problem. Um, thank you. Just mute everybody. Um, um, so just when we when you want to ask questions and to also um, participate, then you can just unmute yourself. Okay. So um, just anybody else that wants to add something, maybe around a tip with a flat belly challenge, we will obviously throughout be um, you know touching base with each other. Um, I think there was a little bit of confusion of who must do what on which days and I will get to it to just put those names out again so that everybody um, understands that and we will probably cover a little bit of the flat belly challenge again next week. Um, so anybody that's got a question or something that they want to add on the, on the challenge? Um, and don't make a spitting mistake like I did on Friday. I, I advertised a fat belly challenge. <laughs> I got a lot of response from my from my customers. <laughs> so, um, uh, a thing, Elsa, a thing that I started. Can you any worry? I still can you clap me ready? Can you ready? Can I is it, is it better now? Yeah. Can you manage? Yeah. Me? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um what I elk ochtend vroeg vroeg doen, want all my mensen what all my mensen waar can sell like for lessons. Nog specific thing. I'll, I'll challenge them on one thing. Okay. For example, um, not a lot of people like the selfie or whatever. Then I'll challenge. Um, send me an image of your um, empty shake and your recipe, how you made it. Or um, send me an image of your snack. And, um, not, um, it's, and it's not the same thing every day. So every day it's either your water or your lunch or your dinner or your whatever. Okay, okay that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, okay. Sorry, Yellow, for Ben. Okay, so let's get going on the Millionaire Training. Um. Okay, so, oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, so what is the purpose of um, this whole concept? Um, and so the big thing is to create a team spirit, um, and, you know, and really working together as a team, create focus and consistency in your business, 
the sharing of knowledge and ideas um, across line training with the with our team and that will, will rotate on a monthly basis so this month you will be a team with a team leader and next month you will do, join a different group um, so it really is for motivation goal setting daily tasks for the week and feedback on numbers personal growth and development and to get confidence because a lot of the pointers that I'm raising that we are, are trying to touch on was something that we, that the team, when we were together uh, last week, um, came that people really have problems with time management. They have problems with confidence to speak to people. They're not, they don't feel like they always have the knowledge. So we're trying to, with this, to really build on all those things that people feel they're lacking um, in their business and I think one of the biggest things is the procrastination and the difficulty to find the drive when you are especially the part-timers that you know you get home from work and you're tired and you think oh my goodness I don't feel like you know doing something specific now for the business but if you if you don't start with a goal and have a focus on what you want to do you um, are going to you know this this will assist you with that obviously all still have issues and this is a, a very nice video that I'm going to send out to the groups a link um, that we showed on the training that was about procrastination and putting things off and you know getting things going so what will the the, the t coaching teams will be allocated to a leader that is not your upline the leaders are world team and involved um, um, at this stage we've got only active world team um and getting that are running the groups um and they are involved in the structure people that are around the meetings and the trainings um and so the key thing for the participants is number one you need to want to do this you need to want to be part of building your business and being focused etc um so and number two uh you must do a goal set and send it to your coach leader um we're trying to get this off the ground for this week. So we would like everybody that wants to participate to send a goal setting, um, what you want to achieve this month, um, what do you want to achieve in your business, how much money you want to make, you know, how many members you want to get, et cetera, um, and your volume points for this month. So it doesn't need to take you a long time. It's not a very big involved thing, but um, you need to set your goal. And then also just see where you want to be in 90 days because we're definitely going to be doing three uh, three months of this and then celebrate and fix and maybe make a bit of a change. But this can, I believe, can change our business around this year. Um, so you must also commit to do one Zoom call a week with your coach leader and feedback your numbers, participate in discussions because the big thing is, yeah, you guys are going to learn from each other. You know, it's not necessarily just the coach leader it's interacting with each other like um, I saw a customer and I said this and that and that you know so it's really a really learning from each other the groups are small there's only about five to six people in a group so the team leader will will contact you and um, you've all been allocated so your team leaders will contact you and um, and then you guys will together decide a time for your Zoom call. We understand that most people are part-time, so it will be a convenient time um, for everybody that, that will work for you. And then there's new weekly tasks. Um, you must share 10 no's. You must invite 20 people to a meeting. Um, uh, you must invite people to BBS, to a shake party, to some event. Um, and obviously then you will have a specific task that gets put out to how many um, what are you doing to, to up your retail business? So this is all to help you with retail, but to stay focused and to have a plan um, and work in your business. Okay, the four, the four or the discussion points are going to be time management and discipline, product knowledge and how to handle objections, button response, packaging your story in a powerful way, the marketing plan, developing the skill, that you will be able to explain the marketing plan to someone, someone else, or what we call the napkin presentation. Um, how to work with social media. We're going to do a call hopefully next week on social media. Um, and again, how to attract people rather than sell people or 
um, t tell people. So really attract them through what you do in social media and how to invite, why you want to invite people to events, um, H HOMs and uh, team events. Um, and so then there will be a point system and this is going to be a healthy uh, competition amongst all the groups. So points will be rewarded to every participant in the group for different actions. The participants need to require a minimum of 12 points to be eligible for the prize. Okay, so if you go to the BBS, you will get three points and with for every uh, guest that you bring, you will get another point. So say for instance, um, you go to BBS, you get three, you've got three guests, you will be allocated six points. Um, five points for a new member doing 500 volume points in, the, in their first month of business. Three points for a new member ordering in their first month. Uh, one point for a preferred customer order for themselves. And one point for a customer order, ordering seven, 70 volume points or more. Um, well, not necessarily through the warehouse because they're buying it from you. So I might need to make a slight change there. Okay, so what will they get? The participant with the highest points from all the different groups groups will um, receive a Herbalife members pack from, from Ace and myself. Um, and the team leader will, um, whose group has got the most points will get a beautiful winter branded jacket. So... Um, and this is, you know, this is uh, the leader would, would want his team to do well. And so it's an, a nice, healthy competition. You can make your little team a name, um, you know, and sort of I really want everybody to make it fun, simple, magical, enjoy. But obviously every person um, is almost, how can I say, if he doesn't pull his weights, then he's dropping his team. So we really want to get that team spirit um, going amongst everyone. Okay, so now just talking about goal setting a little bit, I thought I'll just touch on a couple of pointers on goal setting so that people um, just get on you know their goals and and um, why it's important number one find your passion there's a few uh, key things that we need to to do to be successful and sometimes i think for a lot of people they're all over the place they've just um are trying to do too many things and sometimes you just have to calm down and say i love this i enjoy this way of working and i'm going to just focus on that and do it more effective. So I think that is also something that you can achieve through something like this. So um, the important thing about goal setting is, is finding your passion, finding your purpose, and then having a plan. Um, in your Herbalife business, the key tips on building momentum is uh, use where it track, get a simple daily plan and do it for 90 days. And then duplicate that, meaning you have to teach your team. And the teaching part is probably the the biggest part of our business. You know, a lot of people think we're just sales, but we're more teachers than just salespeople. So teaching our team. So what should your goal have? Specific, measurable, clear in a time frame. And this is just really for the year. So when you're looking at your year, what is your goals for yourself this year? What is your goals for your team? Having a vision board, seeing yourself where you're going to be in September, how many people are you taking to November, really that five-year plan, and how many customers do you need in your team um, to be achieving you know, the money that you want to make, the level you want to achieve, and so that you really are clear about where you're going. You know, once if you sit down here, where am I now? Where do I want to go? And what do I need to do to change my business? Like, I want to get 10 new supervisors frontline in my business because that's the only way I'm going to change the world, my, my royalties in my team. So, you know, that's what I mean by being specific. So we are nutrition and events company. So it is very important to start understanding how you can um, um, improve and grow your business quicker by using promotions. So by working hard and smart and then building that momentum because the biggest thing that you get, and I think I really enjoyed it when, um, uh, Steve, I can't remember who it was. I think it was um, Lauren Swanepoel that one said in a meeting that, you know, that 
sometimes you go to a meeting, you go to a training, you go to a meeting, and it's like every time you're finding another piece of the puzzle that makes you see that picture of where you're going to go. So um, I really um, enjoyed that as why do we want to go back to a meeting? Or, or also Steve had a good one where he was saying that you to become her blood fit. If you want to be fit, you've got to go and run and you want to run the comrades or 21, you can't run once and say, now I've done it. The same with Herbalife. You can't go to one meeting or one BBS and say, I'm Herbalife fit. You need to do it continually because you're working on your own belief system. You're working on yourself to have that confidence and to go and help more customers and help more members. So this Saturday is huge for Cape Town. Um, Zulani and Gwendolyn. Uh, Willela is going to be brand new millionaire team members. There's two new global expansion team members. It's going to be sold out, guys. So make sure that you, you book your tickets early. This is going to be super, super exciting um, for Cape Town. And then obviously, we're also working towards um, this event. There's lots of people that's already qualified. So we're super excited about that. I'm going to, um, to the LDW at the end of July. and. Obviously, there's a couple of us that have qualified already for the party. There's a whole lot of you that can still qualify for the party. So who's joining us with denim and diamonds? Um, and then obviously, we're all planning to go to Paris, a whole lot of us at the end of the year. So we're super excited about that. But, you know, it's, it's really about let's, let's make the decision. Let's go do this. Let's work together. And I'm very, very excited. I hope you are as, as excited as I am. Um, and so it's, it's really changing your mindset and changing your life and just stop procrastinating. Five, four, three, two, one, let's do this. So open to the floor now um, for, for those of you that um, has questions and would like to ask me, uh, you know, anything from, from the floor, from all of you, um, on what, what you want to feedback, an idea or any questions that you might have around the coaching groups. Okay, the leaders are at this stage um, Active World Team, um, Marty, Amuri, um, Sandra and Peter Lowe. Uh, global expansion team. Um, yeah, no, what was it now? My name Karina van Vieren, oh. Magda Bicknell, um, and myself and Ace. So that is the groups at this stage. I'm going to be doing a weekly call also with the leaders, mm -hmm. just get some feedback and celebrate and fix. So um, you will be contacted by your leader if you haven't been yet. And those of you that's got more members that you want to add please send me their names and numbers if I don't have their numbers. So I think that's basically it. Anybody that wants to add something or say something more, Martha, will you it's by Um, No, I think I'm fine, Alpha. I just we need the last numbers. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I think we just need to add the last numbers. Then I think everybody's fixed. I think there's no question from our side. Okay. All right. So yeah, we will we will just interchange. I will also tell you in who's down line your members, the people are that's in your groups. So if you are looking for the numbers, then the, then the leader, the upline can just be contacted. I did make a slight change from the initial. Um, we're not going to make a volume point because it was launched very late in last month, or we started talking about it. Um, and it's a, it's a new month now. We're not going to put a minimum volume needed from last month but we are going to require those guys everybody that wants to participate in the second one to do a minimum of 300 ppb in the month of june so this month there's no volume point requirement you just need to be keen to grow your business and to participate and be part of a group and grow your business so at this stage we've decided let's be more inclusive and and pull more people into it um, and what I also suggest is for the leaders, when you have new, brand new members that you've just signed up, do one month of the same, same um, information with your own team, your own new little members, 
or you can also add those two or three new people to your um, focus group. So if you want to, um, you know, not have to do too many calls, you, you can include your own members into your um, little focus group that, that you're working with because they will obviously also learn from the other more experienced people um, in your group. So that makes totally sense. Obviously, at the end of the day, you don't want the group to be too big so that, um, you know, everybody does get a chance to, to feedback. The daily WhatsApps would be, you know, not necessarily calls. You could do voice notes, um, but you, you want to interact with your team on a, on a daily basis. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, is there anybody else that's got a question? Yeah, you look. Yes, Elsa, this, Elsa, I just want to con congratulate you. This is an amazing, amazing um, way of interacting. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. And it's, 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 a, it's a happy way of doing business. Thanks for that. Yeah, and I actually, you know what we've been in Urban Life, we are, we are, um, we are copy and paste people. And um, thank you to Marta that overheard some conversations to some of, our, of my brother's team, Sean Lewis, and his team is cooking. They are flying. And we started asking them, asking questions. So we're sort of stealing a little bit of ideas, but this is Herbalife. We duplicate. We duplicate what the successful people do. And I truly believe that this can really make, make a big change. No, getting to know the other team members and, and really just learning from each other. So this is why I'm saying it's not just the team leader that's got to do everything. Everybody that's part of the little group will be participating and be excited together. So I hope that you that this will definitely, as we go along, we'll learn and and you know maybe make some mistakes, but we'll all grow. So that's super exciting. Okay, so that's it. You can I'm very excited. And, and uh, let's, let's do this thing. If you have any more questions or something and you don't want to ask now in the group, you're welcome to WhatsApp me um, after the call. Woohoo! Amore, come on, bring it ice to you. Ons for it ice to you. I like you fun for Luerni. Yeah, I love you. Also, my team is already created, okay? The team's a norm. Ons gaan nog dank. Ons gaan nog dank. On, we're busy with that one. Okay. It must be a very good, it's going to be a good one. Okay, okay. <laughs> and my span gaan op gaan jylle gauw geer, what? Okay. Uh-uh, sorry, <laughs> nie, nie vir jou nie. Super excited. Oh, sorry. Nee, maar is recht so. Stel ek dan amal. Good luck. Lekker tweede kom. Ciao. Dankie, Elsa. Yes, bye-bye. Ciao. Bye-bye.